Hey everybody, it's Chris with Overclockers Club here. It's time to have some 10 gigabit fun. So this has actually been out for a while. It's not new. Uh, I'm trying to build my network here up to have a 10 gigabit backbone. So I figured what the heck, pick one of these up, see how well it works. And uh, I actually got this. This is one of their refurbished units from Amazon. There's a little sticker there. And uh, I figured what the heck, it was less than $50 shipped. Uh, retail normally is closer to 100, somewhere in that range. So I figured for 50 bucks, if I can get 10 gigabit speeds, even if I can just get close to 10 gigabit speeds, I think it would be a worthy upgrade. So this is normally about the time that I would say, let's get it out of the box. But as you can see, it is already out of the box. So let's talk about what's on the box though, real quick here, starting with what's on the front. So of course we know it's a 10 gigabit port, PCIe Express, which is your interface there that plugs into your motherboard, jumbo frames. Uh, let's see more of the same stuff there. Anything interesting here? Uh, no, nothing all that, nothing really all that exciting. It does have a uh, low profile bracket and it does have a little CD with your uh, drivers on it. So on the back, let's see. Again, PCIe. Okay, so it supports several speeds. 10, 5, 2.5, 1, one, and 100 uh, megabits per second. The others here are gigabits per second. And again, it supports jumbo frames up to 16 kilobytes, works with Windows, Windows Server. And it uh, looks like they've got some of this stuff in different languages there, of course. Uh, what I find interesting, though, if you look at that picture on the box, it has the blue circuit board on the back. And according to the manufacturer uh, website, when you go to their page for this particular product, it shows this one as being the latest Rev, which is like Rev 3. But from what people are saying on the reviews on the Amazon site, uh, when you get the refurb model, you're getting the Rev 2, but the Rev 2 looks different. It has a green circuit board and a very different heat sink. And I looked at the circuit board and looked all over it. I can't really see anything that tells me which rev it is. Sometimes you can see rev one, two, or three uh, listed right there on the PC board, but I don't see it. So I have this fan on here just to make sure I keep things, keep things cool as I stick my thumb in the fan. But here's what the card looks like. It does have a very large heat sink on it. And when I've been running it, this thing just gets sort of warm. It doesn't really get hot. And here's the other end here. It says trend net. And there's your RJ45 connection. Actually, the flashing shows that it's a, uh, there's your link activity, I should say, and the solid green, I believe, is your 10 gigabit connection. And inside the box, like I said, there's a small low profile bracket. If you need to use that, you can swap the brackets out. And then there is a little, uh, little disc here that has your drivers on it. Although, honestly, when I, First plug this thing in, it uh, found whatever drivers it needed, and uh, I got onto the disk and looked at what was on there, and I didn't really see anything that, uh, I mean, I tried to do the driver install, and I didn't see anything that really made a difference uh, before or after I tried to use the disk, so I don't know how helpful that disk really is. Anyway, and here's the card off of the motherboard, and uh, again, this is a factory refurbished card and if you look at this particular card right now on trendnet it shows the version 3 so if you go and buy a brand new one it looks just like this one and the other versions look very different the board is different color the heat sink is a completely different design so from what i can tell this is the rev 3 this is the current version so maybe a few of these got turned in and refurbed i don't know uh, there is no definite model number or at least a rev that I can see on this particular board. I posed the question on the Amazon website, but I haven't gotten an answer. And honestly, it really doesn't matter. But some people are curious as to which model you'll get if you buy the refurb version. So I guess this is as good of an answer to that as I can give you. Well, 
my other motherboard uh, has met an untimely and unfortunate death, so I had to move to a backup system. Anyway, we're able to keep rolling here. So when the card is installed and you're moving a lot of data back and forth, the heat sink here, uh, it can get fairly toasty. So it's not a bad idea to have uh, a cooling fan in your system, maybe blowing a little air across that heat sink. Now the way I have it set up now on this motherboard, it's very close to that fan on the graphics card. So ideally, I would probably not want to mount it like that. But anyway, the next thing we'll do here is verify the connection speed. And there's a little bit of software that you can use called iPerf3. And there are several places you can download it, but you download the executable and there are some nice YouTube videos that show you how to set it up and use it. It's a very handy tool for uh, checking out your network connection speeds. Now, one thing I want to do here is check the connection speed uh, with the network card. So I'll use iPerf3 and uh, I already have that set up. So now we are testing the speed and it looks like we're getting 9.6, 9.8, there's a 10.0, 9.5. So this just tells me that my connection speed uh, is what I was hoping it would be. So these numbers look good. Now, one thing to keep in mind in order to take advantage of the 10 gigabit speeds, you have to have a switch or a series of switches uh, or your main router, all of those things, you know, they have to be 10 gigabit capable. So this particular QNAP switch here, it has two 10 gig ports. So this port and this port here are both capable of 10 gigabit speeds. And the remaining ports over here are all up to 2.5 gigabits. So yellow cable here goes over to my NAS server. This is 10 gig capable. And uh, the pink cable here goes back over to the network card. And the card over there is capable of negotiating a slower speed. So if I plug this connection into one of these 2.5, well then it would uh, auto negotiate down to 2.5 gigabit speeds. So a lot of motherboards are coming out now with 2.5 gigabit ethernet connection speeds, which is fine. Honestly, one gigabit is usually okay for most people, but if you wanna really kick it up a notch, uh, especially if you have an older motherboard that doesn't have uh, uh, even the 2.5 gigabit capability, you can get a card like this for not a lot of money and uh, you're ready to go. Just make sure, like I said, you have to have uh, the rest of your network backbone has to be 10 gigabit capable if you wanna operate at those speeds. And there are a lot of variables that go into those speeds too. You may not necessarily see those speeds all the time depending upon the rest of your network traffic. So this is Chris with Overclockers Club. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.